What is up, my breaking family? We are here at GameStop because we gotta go inside and we gotta get the brand new, super premium, crazy, awesome box that's like $80. It is a huge, huge box. So we're gonna go inside, hopefully they have it. Then we'll go home, we'll take a look at it, and we'll open up all the booster packs that come inside. Whew, it's cold out here, let's do it. Okay, so we are at a GameStop and check out this bag right here. Yes, there's one other thing inside of it. There might be a Waba Fett plush that I had to have. It was clearance, don't yell at me. All right, now we gotta get some Chipotle, then we're gonna head home and open this up. I don't even need to buy weights anymore. I can just lift this. All right, all my awesome people, the Breaking Family, we have a massive VIP tour of the brand new Super Premium Dragon Majesty Collection. Yes, the brand new Super Premium Collection box is officially out and this thing is so huge, it probably weighs a good, I don't know, 100 pounds it feels like because there is a lot of stuff in this box. It does retail for about $80, so it is a little bit of a commitment, but so far from what I am seeing and reading that comes inside of it, I think it is very well worth it. I picked mine up at GameStop. We're about to see everything that comes inside of this right now. So let's go ahead and get to that VIP tour. Okay, so we have to do a little bit of a weird angle because this box is so big, but you can see right here, it almost takes up my entire play mat right here and you know that is big and there's actually another play mat inside of it. Okay, so now that we have the plastic wrap off, we can get to the contents inside of this box. Oh, I am so nervous, but super excited to open this up. Whoa, check everything out that comes inside of this. We got a Dragonite GX Hyper Rare right here promo, as well as a Kingdra GX Hyper Rare promo card. And then we have a Dragonite figure right here. Oh, we got some more plastic that we have to take off. And we'll take a look at these contents a little bit closer. I just want to get to this unboxing so we can get to everything. We have the play mat right here. We also have three long boxes that are inside of here that you can store your cards, your Pokemon collection. And we have a Dragon Majesty, Dragons Then and Now. Whoa, okay, so it's a little bit of a history of Dragon Pokemon. And then there is the three boxes right down there. So let's take a closer look at all three of these items and you can even see the reflection of me. Hey, what's up? I mean, seriously, there is just so much inside of this box. I don't even know where to start, but we gotta go ahead and start somewhere. So let's go ahead and dive in to this Pokemon unboxing. And the first thing that I wanna take a look at is this Dragonite figure that comes exclusively inside of this box. It looks like it's bursting through the wind. I'm assuming that's wind and not water. I could be wrong and I'm sure someone will let me know if I'm wrong, but I love this figure because it includes the elements right here of the wind. And I do love Pokemon figures that come inside of boxes, but this one takes it to a whole new level. And if I do say so myself, I'm pretty sure this figure is shelf worthy right there in the background. Let me know if you think this figure is shelf worthy in the comment section down below. I would love to know all your thoughts on any of these items that come inside the box, but I love this. And if you are a Dragonite fan, you are definitely drooling over that figure and I don't blame you one bit. We also have dividers that come inside of this as well. We got a lot of them. So next up, we'll take a look at this booklet and I believe it is the history of dragon type Pokemon, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, right there it does say history of dragon type Pokemon in the TCG. So not just in the Pokemon world, but more specifically in the TCG. And what I'm already seeing right off the bat is some classic Dratini, Dragonair, and Kingdra artwork over there to the right. This is very, very cool. And I am gonna 
for sure sit down and read this because it definitely looks very interesting. And if you've been playing Pokemon TCG for a long time, or maybe you're just getting into it, there's some nice history to be learned inside of this book. And I love the books that come inside of these super premium collection boxes, just like this one right here from one of the past ones. This is the illustration collection right here uh, of the Pokemon trading card game. And it takes a look at some of the illustrations from Pokemon TCG cards. It's one of my favorite favorite books that the Pokemon world has ever released, not just in the TCG, but ever. And I keep it right back here on my shelf because I love it that much. And this one might go up there with it. Okay, so next things next, we do have some storage boxes right here to store your Pokemon collection. We got three different ones and I do love the color choices that they decided to go with. It's something a little bit different than what they usually do. And I think I think Breaking Family, I think I'm digging it. Let me know what you think of these color choices. I think it's something something a little bit new and different because usually they're pretty bright colored and this one just seems to go together really, really well. I don't know, maybe that's just me over exaggerating, but I think I like it. Next up, we do have these promo cards right here. This Dragonite GX Hyper Rare. So already off the bat, we haven't even opened up our Pokemon booster packs and we already have two Hyper Rares. These are promo cards that you can only get exclusively inside of this box. And I think the one that everybody's wanting is this Dragonite GX right here. I mean, how could you not want it? Look at the smile. It's like saying, hey, What's up? I see you. I see you. I know you want to buy this box. It is just so, so cool. I love me some hyper rares and I love the fact that we got some hyper rares before we even opened up the box. Okay. We got 10 booster packs to open up right here. We also have this code card, but one of the last things before we open up these booster packs is the play mat. I do love me some play mats. If you can't tell right here, I have the ultra beast play mat and let's see. Oh, nice, nice, that is awesome. That is so cool. Look at that Dragonite, Charizard down there, Salamence right in the middle. We got Drampa right over here. Wow, let me put a nice little look. Look-see right there, check that out. That is, wow, okay, I, I like that one so much that I think I'm actually gonna use it for this opening. Let me put it in place right here and we can go ahead and start opening up our booster packs. Whoa, okay, I like that a lot. That might be worth it, that is worth it right there. Okay, let's go ahead and give you the code card. I never keep any of the code cards in any of my videos. I always give them to you because you deserve them. The Breaking Family, the PokeFam Nation, you deserve them, so I'm giving them to you. So every single booster pack, I'm gonna give you a code card. Whew, I love, don't, I know you're gonna think I'm weird, but that new play mat smell, some of you know what I'm talking about. It's it's good, it's good. Okay, let's go ahead and start with our booster packs. This does retail for about $80. I got mine at GameStop and it does look like I did a little bit of research. I could be wrong, but I don't think Targets and Walmarts are gonna carry these in stores. I could not find a single location that had any and even looking at them online to see if they were in stock, none of them had it and so there could be a chance maybe they're just not carrying it right now maybe they'll carry it in the future but i think as far as retail locations it's going to be maybe your local card game comic book shops as well as gamestop uh best buy might be carrying it as well reverse Hello, dratini and altaria very very cool my favorite artwork from the dragon majesty set is this altaria and then, of course, as promised, there is the code card right there for the Pokemon TCG Online. If you do claim that code card, let me know in the comment section down below what you ended up pulling. Hopefully, you're enjoying our nice little VIP tour. I always try to showcase off some of the new Pokemon TCG products and new Pokemon stuff in general. There is a lot of Pokemon stuff going down, not just in the TCG world, but as far as Nintendo Switch goes, as far as a Pokemon Go, and just other random events there is a lot going down within the next month. I'm not gonna discuss it all right now. I do have um, a weekly or uh, every two weeks Pokemon news show. We call it This Week in Pokemon. So if you are interested in catching up on some Pokemon news, I do do a Pokemon news show about every week discussing everything that's going on in the Pokemon world. All right, Reverse Hollow Zygarde and 
Charizard right there. We got an awesome pull. Charizard, you cannot be upset whenever you pull a Charizard. It's just a good day. It's like a weekend when you pull a Charizard. You cannot dislike a weekend. Well, I guess you can. Everybody's different, but for the most part, I think people enjoy weekends. There's the code card for that one. Man, there is just so much coming up in the Pokemon world. Whew. I'm going to try to keep up with everything and uh, get everything here on this channel. Just like I said, not just Pokemon TCG stuff, but just everything going on. We got Community Day coming up tomorrow as well. We got uh, Beldum, so you can get, some, get yourself some shiny Beldums. Energy, let me put that in my filing cabinet right back there. Drampa, Dragonair, Quagsire, just waving hello. We got a Lance Prism and a Blaine's Last Stand. That booster pack I really enjoy because I love rare trainer cards. I know they're not for everyone, but they are definitely my cup of tea. So I'm always happy when I pull rare trainer cards, and they're pretty useful trainer cards as well, especially that Blaine's Last Stain. I think that's a pretty, pretty nice one. Oh, I already see a Kangaskhan. Could that mean a powerful, powerful pull inside of this box? Hyper rares, secret rares, maybe. Do I dare say it? A gold Pokemon card? I'm not going to say there could be one inside this box, but I'd be pretty happy if there was. I'm not going to lie. Corsola, Energy, a Turtonator, Shellgun, Fiery Flint, Reverse Hello, Vibrava, and a Feraligator. Of course, as you know, you do get a Hollow inside of every single booster pack, and I do feel nice. I get a nice little feeling inside of me, almost the same feeling when I eat some Chipotle or drink some LaCroix. It's a nice little feeling because who doesn't like to pull a hollow, I mean, right? Well, let's be honest with ourselves. Even though there's one in every single booster pack, we can still feel like we accomplished something, right? Okay, next booster pack, maybe an ultra rare. We get 10 booster packs to open up, so there is a, definitely a good chance that some ultra rare pulls in here. Magikarp, where's that Magikarp squad out there? Energy, Dragonair, Zanaya, Salazzle, Reverse Hollow, Horsey, and... A Gyarados. Shiny Gyarados, one of my favorite shiny Pokemon of all time. Of course, you can let me know your favorite shiny Pokemon down below. Of course, what I want to know is what do you think overall about this Super Premium Collection box? Do you think it's worth it? So far, I'm thinking it's worth it. I love everything that I've gotten inside of it so far, and uh, the booster packs are just kind of a nice touch. So let me know your favorite item, what you think about this box. If you're going to be picking one up, if so, are you going to pick multiples up, or are you just picking one up? Swablu, Salandit, Energy, Combuskin, Flygon, Turtonator, Reverse Hollow Flygon, and a Hollow Zekrom. Almost broke out into a song right there. Whew, that was a close one for all of you. Um, I will say that if you are going to GameStop to get this, make sure you go soon as possible because from what I have found out, most GameStops are only getting one of these in stock to start off with. They'll probably restock in the future, but as far as the initial stock, from what I've seen, it's just one box per store. Um, I'm sure some bigger stores will get more boxes than just one. Uh, but most of them are just going to be one. So you want to go as soon as possible to get one. Charmander in the rain. Why does Charmander always have to be in the rain? Put him in the sun for once. Horsey, Energy, Turtonator, Krokona, Melotic, Switch Raft, Reverse Hollow, and... Oh, I see something shiny. See something shiny and magical. Altaria GX, our first ultra rare pull. And I'm going to grab a sleeve so I can sleeve it up. I am using the Elite Trainer Box sleeves from Celestial Storm. Altaria GX flying into our Pokemon party for today. Hopefully you're enjoying the VIP tour, Altaria GX. Of course, you've been living in this box for a while, so I'm sure you're ready to be out. And yes, I am talking to my Pokemon cards. I'm probably a little bit crazy, but that's okay. That's what makes us unique, right? We all have something unique. I really don't. I seriously, I don't talk my Pokemon cards. Or do I? Dratini, Kangaskhan, Litten, Energy, Fion, Fiery Flint, Dragon Talon, and Reverse Hollow Dratini, and another Blaine's Last Stand, Hollow. So we pulled two Hollow Blaine's Last Stand. That's half of a playset. Two more booster packs left. Can we get one more ultra rare pull inside of it? I don't know, we might. If we don't, it's okay. I won't be too sad. I'll just cry for eh, 
probably about 15 minutes, not too long. All right, we got ourselves a Jang O, Vibrava, Dratini, Salandit, a Swablu trying to fly away from us. Energy, go ahead and fly, Swablu, fly away, fly away, birds can fly. We got ourselves a Charmeleon, Reverse Hello Switch Raft, and another Gyarados. So two Gyaradoses, one booster pack left. Give this video a thumbs up. It helps support the channel, and it might throw some magic into this last booster pack. Whew. All right, this has been a big, massive opening. Let's see if we can pull one, one more extremely good card. I don't know. I don't know. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. What do we got here? We got a Horsey, a Torchic, a Wooper, Swablu, Salandit, Energy, Dragon Talon, Combuskin, Flygon, Reverse Hello Zygarde, and our rare is going to a Coma. Oh, 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 oh. What do you guys think of this box? I'm loving it. I think I love the play mat more than anything. I would love to know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And of course, as you know, the Pokemon fun does not stop right here. We have many more fun Pokemon videos and adventures right here on this channel, just like the videos you see on the side of your screen right over here. We have the brand new episode of where we go to the store searching for hidden Pokemon cards underneath the shelves behind boxes for those lost and hidden Pokemon cards. There's also a giveaway in that video. Or did you know McDonald's has Pokemon toys and Pokemon cards right now? And I took you on the adventure to see what you can get at McDonald's. That's in that video right there. And of course, there's many more other videos here on the channel. I love every single one of you, and I will see all of you, all of you amazing people, in the next video. Do it with me now. Peace, love, and a high five.